me a herd and um, I to talk to you guys about my perspective. I'm currently a peer educator working with Metro Teen AIDS and I also work um, with the Women's Collective. Um, we do outreach with the young people, we do presentations, HIV prevention and education. And um, over the years, I've been working there for about four years now, it's been a long time. And even before that, I've been doing work with my mother who works at the Women's Collective um, around HIV prevention and education in the city. And I know firsthand that a lot of young people do not um, have access to education in DC public schools or it's not adequate enough for them to get the information they need to prevent the spread of this disease as well as other STIs. Um, so um, it's just unfortunate. Like even me growing up, I know in middle school, my um, sex education was like literally two days long and only like consisted of the female anatomy and that's about it. So I know in what, seventh, eighth grade at the time, I was 13, there were young women that was pregnant at the time with more than one child. People were having sex in the schools, in the gym. Um, and of course there was no condoms available because they weren't giving them out in schools. And to this day, we cannot pass out condoms out in schools. They have to get them from the school nurse, which can be embarrassing at times. So um, I wrote in my card, the strategy should be for us to improve the comprehensive sex education within the schools, as well as making condoms more um, accessible and different resources for those infected with HIV AIDS um, to have access to these resources. Because I know a lot of people, um, especially in Ward 78, I live in Ward 8, don't know where they can go to get tested, don't know that it's a lot of services that are available to us in those wards, but don't even know about them. Um, don't leave those wards, and don't know how to get around the city to access these resources. So um, that's a problem, and it needs to be addressed. That's why we're here today. So. My name is January McKay. I work at Metro Teen AIDS, and I'm also working with a lot of other organizations in Washington, D.C., such as the Women's Collective, where I'm a rep girl, and with Advocates for Youth, where I'm on the Young Women of Color Leadership Council. Whoop, whoop. And, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and it's very important that young people get involved and are included in these discussions are and are at the table because the rates that we are being affected at HIV and other STIs is very high and it's very scary. And as Dr. Nia said, with the education in the DC uh, public school system, it's it's very taboo. These topics are very taboo. Teachers, it's hard for... Teachers are the ones who should be talking to the students about this since they already have a relationship with their students, but because of certain um, things in place, they can't talk to these students about these certain things. And a lot of times, students, they don't have all of the knowledge. I work with... I go to schools all the time, and I ask them about the four fluids, and saliva is one of the four fluids, and it's like, you cannot pass HIV through saliva. So um, there's, a, there's a lot of lack of education amongst our youth, and it's very important. And while education is important, and that we make sure that that is included in the strategy, I really think that um, in order for young people to move from pre-contemplation into action is that they be involved in these discussions, they be involved at the tables, they, they see that they're important. So, and the only way that they can do that is if you include them in creating this strategy. And so that is the only way that they can see that, you know, okay, well this is really affecting me because a lot of them, don't, they don't feel like this affects them and they feel like it can happen to everyone else except for them. So it's really important that, you know, in this strategy, young people are taken in, in consideration and they're able to talk about how they see um, how they see that you know we will be able to fight this in their in our city um, yeah so <laughs> and another like uh, so education and also condoms a lot of times young people they also don't feel like uh, they are at risk through oral sex and things like that and that's where the lack of education comes from and with condoms and condoms are so taboo it's hard to pass them out in the schools and things like that. So if they're in the schools, but there's so much taboo from them getting them in schools or even carrying them around in schools, how can we get them to protect themselves if there's so much taboo um, that is associated with their protection? So we need to make sure that we are um, destigmatizing these things that are that will protect them. 
So condom use and getting tested because there's so much stigma associated with getting tested. So it's really important. We really need to sit down and make sure that we're talking to young people and see how they're affected and what we can do to make sure that they're keeping themselves safe. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk to some young folks. Educate, don't discriminate. Educate, don't discriminate. Educate, don't discriminate. speaker again we have a situation where the rates among women are growing disproportionately and we need to make sure that as we develop this comprehensive strategy the needs of women are being included so with that I'm going to bring up Pat Knowles who's going to talk to us about the inclusion of women in the stra in the plan as they say nothing for us without us okay well, as we know, Washington, D.C. is one of the areas hardest hit by the HIV epidemic. The effect of this epidemic touches all of our lives and every corner of our communities. What we see in the stats and at the Women's Collective, however, is an epidemic that is increasingly affecting women and primarily women of color. In 2011, women represented a larger share of new HIV infection as compared to earlier in the epidemic. 1.7% of women living in the district are living with HIV AIDS and, and, and of that 1.7, over 90% of those women are African Americans. African American women in the district are living with HIV. AIDS is the leading cause of death for black women ages 25 to 34. 70 percent of AIDS cases among Hispanic women and 55.6 percent of AIDS cases among black women are due to heterosexual contact. HIV positive women are 2.5 times more likely to report gender-based violence and that's women and girls. HIV positive women are disproportionately low income compared with their male counterparts. A comprehensive district-wide multi-sector HIV strategy is necessary because the needs of people at, at risk of or living with HIV are dynamic, overlapping, and interrelated. An effective and sustainable approach to HIV aid must address the tendency of individuals to prioritize their health. Only when, only when all of the other factors of work, home, family, and finances permit them to do so. A comprehensive plan that stretches across the district government, including and expanding be beyond the Department of Health and incorporates the expertise of the vast coalition of non-governmental organizations and individuals is what we need to combat this epidemic. It will take into consideration all the factors that are essential to combating the growing epidemic in women in the district, including comprehensive school-based sex education, yes. Reducing gender-based violence. Yes. Yeah. Assisting women to access health care both to prevent infection and to allow women to receive treatment if they are living with HIV. Yes, 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 yes! Yeah. Yeah. And housing, particularly yes, yes. for women, our health often falls to the bottom of our priority list and there are often factors in our lives that do not allow us to make safer decisions such as the need for housing, our concerns for our children, and our inability to afford appropriate health care. Because these factors and more impact our ability to protect ourselves and our families, we need a comprehensive plan that also include these areas of our lives. Thank yes, you. Yes, 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 yes!